Web3 to me is a different kind of collaboration with the people who operate a platform and the people who use it. So that difference in being able to raise your voice and say, hey, I don't want this type of content to be disallowed from this platform. You know, I think that is a really different narrative than what we're used to today. Octopus Network is a multi-chain ecosystem. Hi, I'm Sheldon with Octopus Network. I'm technical lead. I help people build their own blockchains and also assess if Octopus Network is the right solution for them. When I was younger, my aspirations were aligned with technology. I was building computers, ripping apart VCRs, fixing iPhones. But I also went to college for music. I played a lot of oboe and English horn. Um, I got featured locally as a pianist in a quartet, and I also taught percussion and taught piano. As a composer, I definitely got around and tried a bunch of different instruments, and um, I took that love into electronic music, which also has a lot of requirements for networking, but also I was happy to pivot away to IT security in 2012, and I, I worked in that industry for about a decade before moving into crypto full time. If I had to pick an experience I had that was really meaningful to me, that really affected my life, it would probably be breaking Windows XP for the first time. There's notoriously a, a high amount of flaws even today, but a lot of people still use that operating system because it works and it's not bad. So um, practicing attacking that system in a, a small virtual box, uh, you know, trying to refine the settings to imitate what it would look like as a server, um, that, that was a lot of fun for me because I was imagining myself as an engineer in IT and I did it. In 2013, uh, I was working for an IT security company and uh, a client of mine had someone uh, force malicious mining onto their network and learning how that worked and doing some forensic research on Bitcoin itself uh, led me to find Bitcoin poking through the Great Firewall of China. And after I saw that, I was just really motivated and I've been moderately active in crypto ever since. In uh, Web2, I'm still focused on a whole bunch of reasonably innovative things. Uh, they do correlate really well with Web3, and DAGs and blockchains are not inherently Web3 technologies. Inherently, Web3 things are read, write, execute, right? When I want to interact with a platform and I have the ability to voice my opinion and actually get it heard and get that change implemented on that platform, that's really different than being a Facebook stockholder. But being a token holder of a project that lets me um, sort of be the person that the developer is responsible to means that I get to push my opinions into the fore and try to encourage people that what I believe is the right thing because of X reason. I think that's the real difference. From a high level view, Octopus Network is really disrupting the common model of needing millions of dollars to launch a blockchain. There's many services today where you can spawn up something relatively cheap, relatively simple, but it's not truly yours when you do that. They're usually similar to IaaS platforms, right? Infrastructure as a service. So at Octopus, we don't do that. We're literally helping people build their own chain. So that is a really significant difference where we're helping people build sovereign blockchains versus, oh, hey, you've built a side chain of our protocol. Your protocol is the uh, centerpiece of Octopus Network. Octopus Network is made up of 40 smart contracts, roughly 40 at the moment, and those contracts talk to each other, but they also talk to those independent chains through responses via RPC, designed to go and ask Near Protocol for information and securely move it back over when necessary. It is effectively what powers the Octopus Bridge. I'm excited for tribalism to be ending in crypto. Uh, to make a tech reference for that, that would be like IBC protocol that's showing up at Ethereum, that's showing up on Near, that's showing up between our substrate blockchains and Cosmos chains. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about that because culturally, while the tribalism is wearing thin, the technology is moving forward to help us all connect together more seamlessly instead of having to have these trustful bridges where you go trust a third party to move your assets back and forth. In general, I see the industry moving more towards a uh, Web 2.5 kind of footing. I think that um, cypherpunks and purists, they might be disappointed in this, but I, I think it's a, a real truth that there is no industry that comes out and then becomes its own island. It has to integrate with other industries. If Web 3 is going to get pulled down by Web 2, then the only solution is to preserve the most important parts of Web 3 and recognize that Web 2 is not going anywhere. Success to me is relativistic. I think that um, value is not inherent, it's subjective. So that means that while I might define my success as 
I have made it full-time in crypto. I now don't work for the man anymore. Um, it won't reasonably um, matriculate that success into something that other people can see as successful until we achieve more at Octopus Network. Success, um, I feel to some degree it's, it's never supposed to be achieved. You're always supposed to keep trying.